Good morning, mathematicians. We are looking at lesson seven pull down. Estimating the volume of the world's largest wagon was the title of our lesson. And here in this pull down, we are also finding the volume of the wagon. This says if a radio flyer wagon is 27 feet long, 13 feet wide, and two feet deep, what is the volume of the wagon? When in doubt, draw it out. And certainly that's a great idea to sketch a little picture of what this rectangular prism wagon would look like. So the first thing that I'm going to do when I calculate the volume is I am going to get the area of the base. The area of the base, of course, is found with length times width. And once I know that, then I will multiply it by two, which of course is the height. That is how high this wagon is. So first, let's kind of exchange our variables. The length of our wagon is 27. The width of our wagon is 13. And the height of our wagon is 2. I am going to start by finding out what will be just that very bottom layer. I'm going to find that by taking 27 and multiplying by 13. So I'm going to start with this 3 right here. 3 times 7 is 21. Here's my 1, carry my 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. Now I'm ready to move on to my 1, which really is the next place. So that is why we are going to have our placeholder 0 here. And I'm going to cross off what was carried. I don't want to accidentally add that again. Now, boys and girls, anything times 1 is itself, including 27 times 1. So, yes, this will be 27. We're going to add this together. 1 plus 0 is 1. 8 plus 7 is 15. Here's my 5. Carry my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, I know that 27 times 13 is going to be 351. But now, I'm going to multiply that by 2. And boys and girls, think about what we have just done here. We have found that this layer would have 351 feet cubed, right? But now we have to remember that really there's going to be two layers of that. So now I'm going to take 351 and multiply it by 2 to account for the fact that there are actually two layers. Now, I can do that by adding 351 two times or multiplying by 2. Either way, we're going to arrive at the same answer. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So I know now that my answer is going to be 702. Let's stop and think about the unit that we should report this in, right? What was measured here was these numbers, the length, the width, and the height, and we measured it in a certain unit. We measured it in feet. And we remember that volume is a measure of three dimensions, which is why we have our three here to say that that is going to be feet cubed. So we are asked here, what is the volume of the wagon? Let's write one sentence that gets back to the context of our question. So we are going to say that the volume of the wagon, notice how I'm restating for my question, the volume of the wagon is 702 feet cubed. In this way, I am a thorough math mathematician. I relate my number back to the actual prompt and I re-say exactly what that number is in context of the situation that I was 